Hi all, Chris here and I apologise for the reduced um, quality of this video but my Canon camera wasn't working so I've just had to go back to my good old Olympus. Now anyways, I'm out here today at my um, workbench, my CRT workbench and I've got a couple of new pieces of test equipment to show you. First off I've got my um, variable DC power supply it um, goes up to 30 volts and I think 5 amps. Can't remember for sure. Now, second off, this just arrived today. This is awesome. My um, 20 megahertz dual trace digital cathode ray oscilloscope. So, I've just been fiddling around with it. I've got a couple of probes for it. They're just cheapies off of eBay. So, let's fire them both up. This one being a CRT takes a little while for the tube to warm up, but you can kind of see the um, phosphor glowing. And it's, you can see both the controls for both channels here. I'll just set a probe up. And bear in mind, I've, I don't know an awful lot about these. So I'm kind of um, getting to figure out how it all works. So. And here's one of the probes, as I said, just cheapies off eBay, but they're good. If you pull them down on this, you get a nice little metal hook. You can hook on to anything. Um, flip that off like a pen leaf, you get a little probe. And then here you've got a little alligator clip. So, anyways, I'll connect this up to the calibration hook on it, which is 2 volts. And you'll see it changes. And this is just for testing it. I'll just turn the lights off in here. I'm adjusting the time and the voltage. And I'll see if I can get... Actually, I'll save that for a minute. So, there we have the calibration. So, remove it from there. Now, I'll connect it up to my um, variable DC power supply. No, oh, that won't work now, will it? I'll just use a hook. Now I've connected it up, it's kind of going a little schizo. And these have um, positive and negative waveforms. You can see you've got all the grids here. I think there's 10 on the bottom, 8 on this axis. I can never remember which is the Y, which is the X axis. But this side up here, I believe, is time and this is volts. or I think, or the other way around, I don't know, I've just suddenly forgotten, but um, anyways, it's kind of like a multimeter, only the difference is with a multimeter, the multimeter gives you the, um, the, the, val the value at a um, set point in time, this thing, as you can see by the waveforms, it draws out the voltages at various times as they rise and fall, and so it's very useful. In fact, it's one of the most um, useful pieces of electronics equipment there is. So I'm very glad to have found it and got it so cheaply off eBay. So I'll just also hook it up to the. Now, set it to dual trace. I'll see how well this works. Doesn't seem to like that. No, it doesn't seem to like that at all. That's odd. 
That, that might be why. There's one face. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There's the second face. So. Interestingly, by applying voltage, and it doesn't seem to like that. Uh, let's see, I'll see what, if I can get any waveforms out of this. No, oh, no, oh. kind of, kind of. Bear in mind, I'm still not used to this thing myself. So. Anyways, I'll remove one of those connections. Put it back into... which one did I remove? Put it back into channel 1. And So yeah, and you you can adjust the um, beam, the brightness, um, intensity, or well, the intensity, the um, focus, position. You can change the axis, the um, the vertical axis only works when it wants to, which is a bit of an issue, but I'll try and get that fixed. So, anyways, there you have it, a little cathode ray oscilloscope, and my um, variable DC power supply. So, these are both very much welcome additions to my workbench, and they'll come in handy for lots of things, trust me. And I suppose just from this note, I may as well just... I don't know if I made a video for this or not, but this is my um, Sencor CR143 CRT tester and rejuvenator. And unfortunately, being American, it needs 110, 115 volts DC, so I'm going to get a step down transform and get um, a power outlet for that rigged up in my workbench. And unfortunately, a lot of um, a lot of the pin configurations for American CRTs differ from Aussie ones, so I might have to make a couple of my own heads for these, but it's an awesome little piece of test equipment and when I can get it set up it'll also be handy for my um for restoring and maintaining my vintage tellies. So. in brand new condition pretty much. I don't think it's ever seen much use. Um, it's got a couple of setup charts, all different types of CRTs, film and voltage deep, um, grid bias, all of that. So it's got two of these booklets from back in the day when things were things were actually made in America and not imported from China. So, yeah, it just goes to show you that if you look really hard, you can find some really good stuff on eBay and get it for really cheaply as well. And it just probably sounds weird, but it's got a, it smells really nice. It smells kind of oldy yet nice smell. have a look around it says that um, if new socket type should be um, introduced 
um, plugins will be available from Sencor, but I'm assuming the company went under a long time ago, but who knows. Only one way to find out, and that's to look online, I suppose. And, and also, just before I sign off, here's one of my other pieces. Um, a um, multimeter, a 1938 or 39 triplet multimeter that I pulled out of the um, roadside garbage pile. The um, DC doesn't quite work, the needle's bent, and it needs a bit of work. But it's a nice little thing. I was going to restore it, but that's kind of going to be a bougie of a project for me. Obviously this isn't really going to work with my um, with my power supply because it's DC and this thing with DC isn't working with small to me so. But anyway, so there you have it, so there's some of my test equipment, so hopefully I'll be able to carry out all sorts of Cool CRT restorations here now. So, yep. And to add on top of all of this, I'm also taking a um, electro technology at TAFE, which T A F E, which is the Australian version of um, college, I suppose. So, anyways, better sign off now. So, keep collecting those TVs and. Cheers, Chris.